Hi everybody, this is Lance from ThetaTraders.com. This video I'm going to go over the two best strategies so far this year. One is the covered strangle strategy on futures, and two is the broken wing butterfly on SPX. I'm going to look at the data, look at how to set up the trade, and how I use my indicator to look at ideal strike prices and deltas. Share the screen real quick. So first I'm using the Stata Pro indicator that I helped develop where it says whether you want to sell a put or sell a call. And I do base my delta decisions on what the alert is currently for ES in the futures market. It does say sell call. However, we're close to the moving averages. So we might see a sell put signal. It actually just did pop up here. This is also on the one hour chart. If we go to the daily chart. It's good. You can see different time frames here. We're on the sell put indicator still. So we still have some upward momentum. We want to take advantage of that using different defined risk strategy for the broken wing butterfly. So first the data on the broken wing butterfly. Started this trade in June 20th up until now. And this uses about $1,500 per trade because I'm looking at a 15 width strike in the put debit spread and then a 30 width strike on the, the credit spread. So you're gonna need about $1,500 to do this trade. Also consider the premium that we take in. I typically look for around $200 in premium, and then I look to close it at about a $100 gain. You can see we only had two losses since June, and the other trades were $100 gains. Total was $710. I do this with the SPX and the RUT, so about $1,500 each, I will stagger in when to put them in based on the indicator and other settings I look for. So if we're up $710, for SPX and ROT, we need $1,500 each. It's about $3,000 in total buying power. And we're up about 24% on this strategy just since June. So here's how you set it up. If you go to the SPX, I typically look around 21 days out. And then I'm gonna to look to buy a put when the indicator says sell puts. I'm gonna go on the put side, buy a put around the 0.2728 delta. And then we're gonna go 15 width away. So if I'm at 57.20, we wanna to go to 57.05. And you wanna sell two of these. I'm change the quantity to two here. And then I'm gonna go 30 width on the additional bought put. 5705, 95, 85, 75. I'm going to buy a put there. Typically, the premiums around 200 multiplier for SPX. So you're looking at about $200 net credit when you're starting it. And then I look to close it out at $100 gain. My stop out is typically between 5 to 10 points lower than the sold um, puts. So even though the delta is relatively high, we're in this trade relatively quickly in most cases. Typical closes are between three to around 14 days at max, but usually it ends up being around five, seven days or so. So overall, a really good trade. It has defined risk. So if you have volatility events that shoot up, it won't necessarily hurt. Next one's a covered strangle strategy. And this one I use with MES, and I look to sell two puts to start the covered strangle strategy. If I get a sign on either of these puts that I'm selling, I'll be selling calls either in the money, at the money, or out of the money, depending on what the indicator and other technicals look at. And so far this year, since June 14th, we have not been assigned one time on this strategy. I typically look for around four to 5% gain on these and then re-enter into a new one the deltas are based on indicators that I look at. And I'll show you a sample trade that I've been doing. This trade needs about $1,500 in initial buying power. We want to double that for span margin requirements on MES. So I look at around $3,000 in total buying power for the trade. So far, we're up $2,234. And if you do 2234 divided by 3,000, looking at a 74% gain on the strategy just this year. So it's been a really good strategy. It does have a bit of risk if you're willing to get a sign on MES contracts, could use up more span margin. 
However, it's been a really good strategy so far. For this one, I put a backslash MES futures. I also did some stocks and like. And then I typically looked around 30, 45 days out. We're still on MESZ. And then 65 days out is MESH. Still okay to go 30 or 44 days out. Based on my indicator showing sell put, we're still in a pretty bullish zone here. I'm going to look for a little bit of a higher delta, typically around the expected move, so around 54.80 or so. And then I usually look around 100 points lower than that, 53.80. And then you can see we're getting about 62 premium. MES has a 5 multiplier, so 62.5 times the 5 multiplier, taking in about $312. Then I typically close this out at 75% profit, but I'm also okay with letting it get a sign and sell calls against it. If I get a sign on the higher naked put, then I will be selling a new naked put and then sell calls against this one. If I happen to get a sign on both of these, then I'm going to be selling two calls, lower your cost basis, get premium as it comes in, and then just get out of the trade. So again, these are the two highest uh, percent gain strategies this year at datatraders.com. If you're interested in seeing all my trade setups, then not only do that, I do 112, 122 trades, strangles, um, ES, MES, gold, oil, different commodities. And we do daily stock credit spread trades using this data pro indicator to do that as well. Uh, you want to click a link in the description down below to get access. And you can also ask me any questions on the Discord. Again, last with Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.